when I travel, I feel safety. And for me, it's envy. I'm like, why can't Uganda be like this? Because it is freedom. What I enjoy the most is the fact that I don't have to fear to double, you know, lock my doors. When I'm walking on the street, I don't worry about being noticed. And sometimes I go out with my heterosexual friends who are Ugandans who live here and they're not worried about anyone seeing me with them. They're not worried about, you know, being out by the news and we, you know, we're feeling free. One time I was in the supermarket, you know, shopping, and then someone came and attacked me. And he was raising his voice and saying, why do we have a homosexual person in our neighborhood? And then he, he attacked me and smashed my head in a cash register. Being openly known and openly gay comes with its own challenges because you don't know where the problem is going to come from. You don't know who is going to harass you. You don't know who is going to attack you. So for me, it's constant. You know, constant paranoia that I have to be careful with everything I do in Uganda. Living that kind of life sometimes is very frustrating. I like to, you know, live a life whereby I can just do anything I want without having to inform people, without having to worry about who is going to harass me, without having to worry who is going to attack me. But I don't think that as an activist and someone who is openly gay, I can have the the luxury of living such a life. What I've learned about Ugandans, if they know you, they start to love you. Once they get to know you and they love you, they won't care much about your sexual orientation. But the biggest problem is that there are few people like me. And there are few people who are out their friends. There are few people who are out their families. And so they, that means there are very few Ugandans who know, uh, who have had very close contacts with gay people. I think if we did a lot of work and we continued, you know, doing sensitization and telling people that gay people are very normal, they're not here to change anything in Africa, they're not here to overtake any cultural values, and they're not here to turn any young children into homosexuals, people will start understanding. I see that already happening. I see the government beginning to change. I see law enforcers beginning to change. I am very optimistic. Uganda will change.